Hi, I'm Katherine Curley, and you're watching Real Cooking TV. Hey everybody, you're watching Real Cooking TV. I'm your host, Kat Curley, and I am so excited you're here today because today we're making the comfort food of banana bread. I love banana bread and I love making banana bread. Even when the bananas are not quite ripe enough, I somehow try to find a way to make them that way so that I can make it because sometimes that craving comes and it's you're wanting it really bad right now. <coughs> One thing I have to want to tell you about banana bread is even though your bananas may be really, really ripe, you may not be ready to make banana bread right away. Go ahead and put them in a, in a Ziploc bag and stick them in your freezer. That way it'll keep fresh and you can save it for whenever you want. You can also take the casing of the banana off, go ahead and pre-mash it, stick it in a Ziploc and put it in your freezer and you're ready to go. Well, let's get ready to go. I've got plenty of bananas that are ready to go, not this bunch I just showed you, but I've got some that are ready to go and they are super, super ripe. Be sure you visit our website at www.realcooking.tv for a complete list of ingredients and directions to these recipes. To make this delicious banana bread, you'll need a half a cup of oil, one and a half cups of sugar, two eggs well beaten, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one third cup of buttermilk, three very ripe bananas mashed, and one cup of chopped nuts if you so desire. First of all, we're going to take a half a cup of oil and we're going to have one and a half cups of sugar and we're going to cream them. Here's our oil, okay, and our sugar, and we're going to cream them together, and creaming them means mixing them real well, making it look real creamy, so let's do that. Now you will notice that this creamy actually doesn't look creamy like you would think, it actually looks more slushy. So, um, but it's totally fine. I'm going to scrape the edges down a little bit, giving it a little bit more consistency of what we are looking for. Now we're going to add the eggs and the salt. Two eggs. And the salt. And that's a fourth a teaspoon of salt. We're going to go ahead and mix that. You want to make sure that it's mixed really, really well. Okay, we're done with that. Now we're going to take our one and a half cups of flour and we're going to add in our baking soda and it's one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just going to take a fork and just do a real quick mix just to make sure that it's incorporated really well. Voila, we're done. Okay, so we're going to take our um, a third a cup of buttermilk. We're going to add our sugar mixture. We're going to mix it again. We're going to mix this where it's not lumpy. You don't want it to be lumpy. All right, got that all mixed in. Now that we've got it mixed, we're going to set this aside yet once again. It doesn't matter what order you put some of these things in because um, it's not going to affect the baking at all. It's just kind of makes it a little bit easier. So let's take our bananas. We've got three very ripe bananas, three large ripe bananas. And the way you tell is the skin just is kind of very thin around the banana. And we're just going to mash, mash, mash it. If you want it to be a little bit lumpy, that's fine because you know sometimes it's nice to bite into a piece of banana bread with a little piece of a chunk of a banana in it. That's kind of the way my family enjoys it. So that's kind of like what we're going to do. Looks really good and the smell is just fantastic. 
just want to make sure that there's one banana that I chose that was a, not as ripe as the others, so I just want to make sure that it's incorporated really well. Now we're just going to add the bananas to our mixture. And it's so moist that you don't really have to add a whole lot of other liquidy mixtures because your bananas do have a lot of moisture in them already. So that's a good thing. And now we're just going to take our fork and we're just going to blend it. We're just going to kind of blend it in by hand. And it kind of adds a little bit more, like I said, adds a little bit more mixture. So you're going to notice that it kind of looks a little bit creamier when you mix it in. It gets a little bit runnier. And that's okay. Now we got it all mixed in. And we are ready. You can put this in two loaf pans and bake it. What I like to do is use one loaf pan and then one muffin tin with six muffin cups. And I love that. You can put the papers in the muffin cups if you want. I don't like it that way because it just tends to be messy, especially when you have two small children. So we're going to take this in our nonstick cooking spray. I'm just going to kind of spray just lightly, spray our edges. Okay. Always do the cupcakes first. That way you don't end up with some that are not very good. It, it's okay for the, the loaf to look a little bit thin, but you want your muffins to look pretty good. And I just take a spoon and just spoon it in. About two-thirds of the way is about the way to go. This makes nice little on-the-go kind of breakfast things. Um, and it also is just it's really easy for the kids to eat it when it's in a muffin style. So you've got your muffins done already, and that's... Now for the rest of this, we're just going to pour it in our loaf tin. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to bake this at a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes or until it's golden brown. Great. 45 minutes. We're going to let it cook for a while. We'll be right back. Let's check our banana bread and see where it is, actually. Oh, wow. Look at this. This looks absolutely fabulous. Oh, that is just is wonderful. Now, you can jiggle a little bit and see that it's pretty okay. Now, let's just check it in the oven to see it's not even there done. However, our muffins are probably pretty close to being done, so let's just check those. Look at that. That is awesome. Yeah, those are fabulous. And they're supposed to be that dark brown because obviously they're banana bread. Now what we're going to do is you can buy these cute little sticks. They're just like little tester sticks. You can use a knife. You can use um, one of these little poker things. You can even use um, a toothpick. And you just stick it right in the middle. Pull it out. And if you pull out anything, if it's dirty on top, which it is, that means it's not done. So you're going to need to let it set in. So we're going to do a little, few more minutes. I think it needs about five or ten more minutes, so we're just going to set the timer and check, come back and check it later. Okay, now we've given this plenty of time. It's been about an hour, so we're going to test this now, see if it's ready. Oh, this looks gorgeous on top. Clean as a whistle. Let's pull it out. Boy, that looks really fabulous. Now what you normally do is you're going to let this sit in, your, in the loaf pan for just a few minutes, but we're actually going to kind of speed up the process just a little bit. Let me get a knife and kind of come across the edges here. Look, it's just coming right around. What are you doing that for? Kind of loosen it from the edges a little bit just so them, to make sure that it's nice and easy to come out. We're going to take it and we're going to put it on a cooling rack. This, let's see if we can pull it out here. There we go. doesn't want to come out. There we go. Oops. So you see that it didn't come out all the way, but that's okay. Sometimes it's just not always perfect, but it's always going to be really delicious. So just set that back up there just like that. And actually, don't tell anybody. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to test it. Because you know, You don't want anybody else to know about it either. 
and we'll just set it on the opposite side. Let me just get a little bit. Mm, this smells so good. It looks real um, nice and golden brown inside, and you can see the chunks of banana. Mmm. This is fabulous. Mmm. Mmm. You can see the chunks of banana in it. It is just wonderful. It has a really good taste to it. I was really kind of concerned because it didn't have vanilla and didn't have cinnamon in the recipe. But you know what? It doesn't need it. The bananas have really given it a great flavor. This is so good. I think I'm going to sit back and eat a little bit more, but I'll save you the details. You can go to our website at www.realcooking.tv. Make this yourself, and you're going to find that it is just fabulous. Thank you so much for watching us today. Be sure you tune in real quick. The next episode is coming up really fast. You're going to really want to tune in. So, you know, we'll see you later. Okay, bye. We're checking the bread. <laughs> is that telling you where it is enough? <laughs> We're checking the bread.